Hello dear students, welcome to the Quantum Guru. I am going to take a one of the most debated question of IIT J Advanced Physics from 2017. As I said from 2017, many students would have immediately recognized the question that I am going to talk about. So uh, let's read the question first. So the question states one twirls a circular ring of mass m and radius r near the tip of one's fingers as shown in the figure 1 in the process of finger never loses contact with the inner rim of the ring. The finger traces out the surface of a cone shown by the dotted line. The radius of the path traced out by the point where the ring and the finger is in contact is small r. The finger rotates with an angular velocity omega r. The rotating ring rolls without slipping on the outside of a smaller circle described by the point where the ring and the finger is in contact. Uh, figure 2. The coefficient of friction between the ring and the finger is mu and the acceleration due to gravity is g. So now based on this comprehension paragraph, we have uh, two questions to answer. One is the uh, total kinetic energy of the ring and the second is the minimum value of omega naught below which ring will drop down. Uh, let's try to physically visualize the situation. So this is how uh, finger is twirling and the process the ring is rotating with finger. And now uh, see the careful details. The finger is rotating like this. And the point of contact of finger, this is the point of contact with the finger with the ring this is moving in a circle of radius small r like this and I am standing at my place I am not doing it like while moving so I am standing my place so the center of the uh, the circle at which the point of contact of the finger with the ring and that center is fixed so it is moving about that fixed center and suppose at certain moment say this is the point of contact of the ring with the finger and like this if you can see so there is no slipping between ring and finger like the my ring there is no relative motion between uh, ring and the finger so they are moving uh, as a whole because if i cannot uh, slow that down so they as a whole like if it is this finger is at this point so there is no relative motion between my finger and the ring so this as a whole is moving like this and so and we have to see what is the angular velocity of this ring and uh, if we can see the uh, instantaneous axis of rotation of the motion of the ring so uh, for that I will have to draw a few good diagrams so this is the top view of the movement the finger is moving like this and uh, in a radius small r and this is the ring p and q this is the point of uh, finger in contact with the ring and this is that point of the ring and there is no relative motion between p and q so they will be always together so when i take a quarter turn of my finger so this line uh, take a turn by 90 degree comes here so p points comes to this position say p dash and by that time this q point of the ring has also to come to this position so suppose this position i say is say now q dash and you should notice one more thing the line joining the center of the green circle to this point and the line joining center of this ring to this point is actually the same line because that is a property of a circle and uh, uh, they are touching each other so they are touching each other so uh, at this point from their centers if we make a line that line would be the same line so now at this position if I draw a new uh, actually this circle will be the same because the ring is moving on this circle only the that particular point has changed its position so this uh, the ring is moving on this circle uh, like this with some angular velocity this angular velocity is given in the question by omega naught the ring is rotating with omega naught so when uh, this point has come to here then where the ring has come so 
I will show by drawing another diagram. So this is the new position but before I explain this thing I am just drawing the uh, center of this ring in the previous position this was the center and this was the line joining Q. And now the center of the ring will be somewhere here and the line joining Q the new position of Q is Q dash. So this is the line joining the center to Q new position that is Q dash. I make a quarter turn so P the point P is rotated by 90 degree and by that time the radius of this ring has also taken the same turn but if I uh, make a intersection of these two radius so their intersection at this point so actually this is the instantaneous axis of rotation of the ring uh, which I am which my finger is making rotation and uh, they are rotating equal angle in equal time so angular velocity of the rotation of the ring is also the same as the angular velocity of the uh, motion of the finger so because they are moving equal angle in equal time so if you can see that uh, this is the instantaneous axis of rotation instantaneous axis of rotation of the ring the instantaneous axis of rotation of the motion of the ring is nothing but the center of the circle that the finger is tracing out. So uh, this is the instantaneous axis of rotation ring has a mass m and we have to find the kinetic energy of the ring. So uh, I can use two formula one is the uh, half m v c m square plus half i c m omega square or I can go very directly. Uh, if I look the motion from the instantaneous axis of rotation, the motion appears to be pure rotational. So from there I can simply write the total kinetic energy of the ring is equal to half I about I A O R into uh, omega of the ring and that omega is nothing but omega naught of the finger. So this is simply omega naught and I about I A O R. Uh, we can simply calculate using parallel axis theorem. So parallel axis theorem is uh, I about I A R is the I about center of mass plus uh, M into perpendicular distance sorry parallel distance between the axis through the center mass and I A R. So this is the center and this axis passing through center is C E. See from here to here the distance is capital R the radius of the ring and this distance is small r so this distance what I have written small d this is nothing but capital R minus small r. So ic is uh, m r square and uh, this m d square d is the capital R minus small r. So uh, we've got this thing so I can put the value of i about uh, i a r so this is a half m and uh, capital R square plus capital R minus small r whole square and multiplied by omega naught square and this is the answer and you can see that none of the given options are correct. So uh, that's why this question was declared later as a bonus. Now the second part in which it is as the minimum value of omega naught below which the ring will fall down. So let's draw the FBD of the ring. So this is FBD of the ring. Uh, forces are the weight mg, the normal from the finger to the ring and a friction which will prevent it falling down. So there is one problem here that uh, these two will constitute a force couple. So because of that it will be rotated so it will not be uh, able to uh, maintain a horizontal position. So that's where the many people have objection to which I have answered that uh, ITJ physics is uh, to be exactly speaking an approximate physics. Uh, so many times we uh, make approximation. So here also uh, this is a very close to the real figure as I showed you by rotating. Uh, if I rotate it, it appears 
almost as a horizontal not exactly so there's so many things we neglect so here also we are neglecting so we are neglecting the effect of the force couple and the rotation so uh, let's go ahead so first of all if there is no motion along vertical direction so mg and the static friction must be balanced mg is equal to fs now in the horizontal direction uh, we will apply the equation f external is equal to m into acm so what is the center mass acceleration of the center mass and i as i explained in the first part that this ring is uh, moving the instantaneous axis of rotation of the ring was the center of the motion of the finger and which is at a distance small r from here so from this point which is at a distance small r from here and which is at a distance capital R minus small r from the center of the ring. So from here all points would be appearing as a moving in a circle. So center is also moving in a circle. So center of the ring is moving in a circle of radius capital R minus small r with the same angular velocity as that of the finger that is omega naught. So uh, this point will have an ang uh, acceleration that acceleration is ACM and this acm will be a uh, capital r minus small r into uh, omega naught square so fs uh, fx turn uh, for the circular motion is the n so next equation will be n is equal to m into r minus small r omega naught square and we'll put uh, here obviously fs is less than equal to mu into n so this equation will then become mg is less than equal to mu into m capital r minus small r omega naught square mm gets cancelled so omega naught will become uh, greater than equal to square root of g by mu capital r minus small r so omega naught min is square root of g by mu into capital r minus small r and which is option a